I'm not a Philadelphia local, but I know it has some of the best food in the world. So I'm taking my friend Harry Kirsch on a road trip to Philly from New York to see what the city has to offer. We're hitting up five of the best cheesesteak spots across the city all in the same day to see if we can find Philadelphia's best cheesesteak. This is Food Tours. Our first stop, Tony and Nick's in South Philadelphia. Man, what a country. I know, right? <laughs> We're here at Tony and Nick's, not to be confused with Tony Luke's, which was another cheesesteak chain here, but they split off and due to a family feud, wanted to differentiate themselves, so they're just Tony and Nick's. Here we are. First stop of the day. First time in Philly, I'm and excited. And I know that you've never had a cheesesteak before, so that's a perfect place to start. No, I've had like a steak and cheese sandwich, but nothing that I don't think Philadelphians would consider a cheesesteak. No, 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 no. We are at the source. Okay, here I'm we telling are. you, man, we're gonna be eating a lot, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a little overwhelming, but I, with confidence, your mind is going to be sufficiently blown. Yeah, I mean, I like this place. The location isn't what I would call like glamorous. We're kind of just right off a main road by like an underpass. My one critique maybe of the decor is that they could have more red, white and blue in here because I'm not feeling quite patriotic enough right now. The logo of this place is also an eagle holding a cheese stick. Yeah. I just wasn't sure how this place could get any more American. I right, listen up, Red. You're in Philadelphia, pal. <laughs> All right. I'm drag over to Liberty Bell and tell you what's what. So. And take it easy on criticizing the patriotism in the city. Okay. What can I expect from a Philly cheesesteak? What is a Philly cheesesteak to you? How can I explain this? Like, so this, the, the meat is incredibly savory, but with the cheese and there's any vegetables on there, some do, some don't. I like to have onions on mine. But it's like this savory, cheesy, gooey deliciousness just wrapped in the pillowisty. No way, that's a word. Pillowy, yes. Pillow like. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hoagie style bun. Is it, a, uh, is it a nice, light, refreshing snack? Are you insane? A bit more of a no. heavy, heavy lunch situation? Yeah, a little heavy. A little heavy. Yeah, I would say, <laughs> the famous last words, pace yourself. Yeah. So, as you can see, we've got two different ones here. One is with American cheese, and one is what is known as Cheese Whiz, W-H-I-Z. Okay. It's Christmas Day, baby. Let's open our presents. I feel like these need to be unwrapped right, right. away. Yeah. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, I feel like we'll start with the Whiz. From what I've heard, that's kind of like the classic option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whiz yeah. is a good choice. Oh my god. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to wait and tell you about Cheese Whiz before or after you eat it. Um, I felt like if I learned too much about it, it might make it less appealing to me. Okay. So I feel like I'm just going to roll my so sleeves So I'm going to take a bite in the American, you do a bite the, the Whiz, and then we're going to talk, we're going to cheese talk. We're going to cheese talk. Yeah. All right, man. Cheers. I'm ready. Cheers. First, first steak right. of the day. Cheese steak day begins now. <laughs> Oh man. So Cheese Whiz, or Whiz as referred to places like here. Mm -hmm. It is a already gooey cheese that Kraft makes. Uh -huh. uh, introduced in about the 50s. It's one of the many cheese options you get here. There's no official cheese you can get on a cheesesteak, but Whiz is pretty popular, also American, sometimes provolone. As we've talked in Food Wars, you probably noticed that uh, our food has like a lot of chemicals in it. Of course, yeah. All that stuff that I probably said in the first uh, two seasons of Food Wars, where you're like, what is that? It's all in here. You tell me. There we go. What do you think? I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. I can't say it's like a ton of it. I'd say like they've been not super, super generous with the whiz. It's like on the bread rather than on the steak. But what I do taste is pretty good. I mean, it's got like a kind of American cheese yeah. vibe to it. Not too strong cheesy flavor. So is the whiz like liquid at room temperature? And if so, how do they do that? Because, yeah, that seems uh, worrying. Liquid? Uh, like a gel? <laughs> Which actually is more unsettling. <laughs> If you ask me. But it tastes amazing, so so what? It really does. That's my first experience of Wiz. And honestly, like, pretty good. You want to try the American? I, I think we should swap halves, yeah. yeah. Do you prefer American or Wiz, Germany? Wiz. Wiz? Come on, you can. Yeah, the classic. Honestly, though, I probably would get provolone more often. Again, please don't mm -hmm. come at me. But I like a cheese with a little bit of a um, savory bite to it. Okay. But as far as decadence, Wiz. Mm. I feel like I don't get a ton of flavor from the American cheese. Yeah, I guess that's not really the, the point of cheese. The Wiz definitely has like a stronger flavor. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, that's, that's the chemical stocking. So like, I don't know, hard to describe. I, I really like this style of bread where it's got like a little bit of toughness on the outside. And keep in mind, it's keeping the consistency with dripping wet with meat and cheese and onions off the grill. Yeah. So, and it still is 
keeping its, its structure pretty well. It's like a little bit chewy on the outside, yeah. which I quite like. Obviously quite pillowy on the inside to try and soak up all that juice, because like the bottom of that now is just absolutely soaked in like beef, cheese, goodness. So I personally like mine savory, so I almost always add onions to it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, and I don't want you to think that like it's officially has to have onions, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, I mean, has that, has the steak. Steak is real good. See how really juicy it is? So juicy, it's like dripping with juice. Are they all kind of this filled as well, or have they been really generous here? Because this is like packed with beef. Every sandwich, eight ounces, ribeye, Damn. fresh. That's generous. Yeah, it's nice. That's right? a healthy portion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is dangerously good. <laughs> My God. You can you can see why people yeah. are like very passionate about this, mm -hmm. about how it should be done, yeah. how it shouldn't be done. Mm -hmm. Philly's protective about a lot of stuff, and cheesesteaks might be at the top of the list. Definitely. Yeah. It's and like, rightfully so, right? Absolutely. On paper, it's quite simple, but it feels like everything very much has its role to play in this yeah. sandwich. You're going to find today that although every single one is bread, cheese, meat, and maybe a veggie, mm. there will be very subtle differences that make it uniquely to the place we get it at. But I'm assuring you, everyone's going to be incredible. Man. I know we've got quite a lot more to eat, but I kind of want to keep going, man. I'm going to hang here, buddy. Well, the next place is like 15 minutes away, so we'll burn off those calories. Yeah, right. We'd have to like run to New York and back to burn off these calories. <laughs> but it's a thought that counts. Mm-hmm. One down, several to go. More to go, buddy. <laughs> Pace yourself. John's roast pork. Pretty good today, buddy. Really are. All right, this is John's Roast Pork. This is a James Beard Award winning spot. They specialize in roast pork. In the name? Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're here to get the cheesesteak. We'll also grab a roast pork sandwich. Third generation spot. This place, iconic. I mean, look at the look at the smile on that pig's face. The pig looks that pretty pig happy. That pig cannot wait to be on our plates. <laughs> All right, a uh, few things to keep in mind is, it's standard in Philly for most cheesesteaks to get their bread, their rolls from a bakery called Amoroso. Oh. Mm -hmm. But here they do a seated roll. Ooh. It's a half Italian roll that is from a bakery Karangi. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Anyway, that differentiates it from most places. Also, some would disagree with what I'm about to say. I'm a big fan of the Wiz. I like the Wiz on my cheesesteak. This place, don't do the Wiz. Okay. And who am I to disagree with John for three generations and Mr. James Beard? Mr. So. Beard himself. Behold my man. Here we are. This is a 12 ouncer. 12 ounces of meat, extra cheese, onions. Check out the roll, check out the seeds, huh? Well, what, I mean, what more do you want? How beautiful does this look? That looks pretty gorgeous, I have to say. And yeah, I mean, this is this thing is, this is a big loaded up. I don't know how anyone has one of these and goes back to work. No, this um, would put me in a coma. Yeah, distinction I want to make, mm -hmm. extra American cheese, but the meat is actually loin tail. Oh, okay. Got a nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flavor to it, you're about to find out. Sure. Uh, I'm dying to dig into this, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty hungry, let's, let's go. Let's go. Do you want the end piece or you not care? I don't mind. Okay. All yours, man. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. You see in here? You, you see the cheese in this thing? You see in this? This is hefty. And go. Oh. What did I tell you? Ooh. What did I tell you? <laughs> I think the reason that I lean more towards the Wiz, the Wiz has a, has a more distinct flavor that I like. Yep. When you go double or extra American cheese, mm. like we did here, it's just as good as the Wiz. So yeah. I will uh, forgive the Wizlessness. I do feel like quite a lot of what I feel in my mouth when I'm eating this is the cheese. Uh -huh. But I mean, there's so much meat in here that you're still getting yeah. like good ratios. It's all kind of like mixed together in one joyful blob. Yeah, the ratio of this one is definitely winning yeah. for me personally, mm -hmm. we'll see. You like uh, it meaty? Yeah, I mean, mm. compared to the last place we went to, I feel like it was a little more bun mm -hmm. than, uh, than I like. I mean, this is a much more solid bun. It's like holding it more together even though it's not as uh, thick. Mm. I don't know anything about bun science. <laughs> but, right, I mean, it's more meat and the bun has like absorbed less juice. I mean, it's not as yeah. juicy, I think, but the cheese more than makes up for that. Yeah, but it's a I'd different say... kind of meat, so I think that's probably yeah, why. Like I said, between the no whiz, yep. The loin tail yep. and the bun. This is a pretty, pretty yeah. unconventional cheese right, thing. Right? Yeah, they put their own spin on it. That's yeah. for sure. Fantastic. All right, I know this is a cheesesteak video, yes. but come on, 
But John's Roast Pork, we got to try the roast pork. It is called John's Roast Pork. I was a bit surprised when you were taking me to a place called John's Roast Pork for a cheesesteak. I'm not surprised anymore, don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm only going to take one bite because we've got so much food, to but you have to try the sandwich. <laughs> okay, man. Trust me. Here we go. Oh, this thing's stacked. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. That's so good, right? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Just dripping with juices over here. Mm -hmm. Dripping with juices. Yeah, you really can't underestimate the importance of bread in a sandwich. Look at the cheese they got down here, too. Mm -hmm. They're generous with the cheese here, which I like. They're generous with that everything here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you come to John's, you're not leaving hungry. Damn. That's so good, man. Although I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> we have so many other Philly cheesesteaks to try. Man. Want to head out to the next spot? I guess so. Let's try it. Right, let's go. All right, the next two spots are literally across the street rivals, so we can't go to one without the other. First, we're going to Pants. All right, this is Philly Cheesesteak Ground Zero. 1930, first cheesesteaks are coming out of here. This was originally a hot dog stand, and they're making cheesesteaks for themselves. Yeah. Some customers like, yo, give me that. I'll bonk that. <laughs> and the Philly Cheesesteak was born. This place is so popular, they sell over 6,000 of these on a weekend. Yeah, that's a lot of steaks. a lot of steaks. Some locals will disagree that this is the best, but I feel like we had to come to the original place. Of course. So I got one because we've been eating sandwiches all day and I don't feel like throwing out another half of a sandwich. I hope that's okay. Now, I'm gonna unwrap it, mm -hmm. all right? That's allowed, yeah. Again, this is uh, Christmas morning. Ready, everyone? <laughs> Look, oh, no. oh, oh, yo, dog. Oh, it's oh, they didn't cut oh, in didn't half, cut though. <laughs> Should we, we might have to pick it up and lady in the trumpet. <laughs> I want to call your attention to the cheese. Please do. Wiz is by far the most famous cheese they have here mm -hmm. at this location. It says they sell it almost 10 to one American cheese or any other cheese. They love the Wiz here. The Wiz. Wiz. They love the Wiz here. Yep. Now I think it's important to point this out to you as someone who has no experience with cheese Wiz, that to me, cheese Wiz is usually the bright, unnatural yellow that this is. Nothing is this yellow in nature. No, nothing not even lemons, about this. No. not bananas. <laughs> so I can rip it in half and then we can each have a bite. That sounds good. Okay. I trust your hands to be reasonably clean. Yeah. There we go. I was petting a stray dog when I got, and got these, but I don't think that matters. All right, here we go, my guy. The original, the king. Take a bite, buddy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I got whiz. You got whiz? Mm. Oh, let me just de whiz my hands. Okay, what are you getting from this one, Joe? For the amount of whiz that's on this, the cheese flavor is surprisingly not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was just strong. gonna be like like biting into a block of cheese, but no. I love the cook of the meat. You know, in there they just have a grill, just like the meat is just. It's just going nonstop. There's a long raw, but there's like boom, steak, 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 steak. Not being cooked to order. It's just like a yeah, whole. Yeah, well, it's okay. going so fast. I mean, it's cooked to order because they can't <laughs> stop. So when I saw that, I was like, uh, huh? what's the quality here? But I think it's really, really good. The onions are really hitting, doing it for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. If I can draw your attention to the meat, Joe, it's quite a big ribbon of steak. Whereas I feel like the ones we've had before have been pretty like finely diced. I actually quite like the texture of this. I like that one better. Yeah, I think it gives more of a chew to That's it. That's right, because your guys' bacon is that weird, like, uh, <laughs> flimsy bacon, right? That's Not an insult. America, we, in America, we like a nice and diced. We like, we like our meat cut up so, like, finely, you can snort it. Do you like the meat here? Because I feel like the meat, like I say, texturally is really good and has a nice flavor. I don't prefer that. I prefer the meat being diced up a little bit more because when it's cut smaller, mm -hmm. it, how can I put this? It just gets wrapped up so well with the cheese. The cheese to meat ratio works a lot better. I want my cheese steak to be as steaky as possible, baby. Sure. As cheesy as possible. For the roll, I mean, it's good, but I mean, I'm just I'm tasting a lot more bread. The bread ratio in the sandwich is higher than I like it. Yeah, I'd say it's higher than other places that we've been. I'd say less meat in this one and more emphasis on the bread. Yeah. I don't think it's like a massive downside necessarily. Okay. I feel like you don't want just a mouth completely full of meat. You need like texture flavor balances going on. Let's go ahead and isolate that clip. Shut up. <laughs> I personally love having a mouthful of meat. I think that it is a negative to not have as much meat. This to me, if I was in this area, this would be probably my everyday cheesesteak, depending on the price and my go-to fix. But yeah, man, you're loving the big pieces of meat. These big pieces of steak, man. 
I'm really digging it. I wow. Look mm -hmm. at this. You almost ate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's the that's farthest you've gotten any sandwich today. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to pace myself, but particularly to me, I just think it's really good to have. Great. Mm -hmm. Not your favorite. I mean, you have to give them some credit for being the originals. Yeah, sure. But oh, they got all the credit. I mean, the like, factor. It's a pretty good sandwich, though. Yeah, definitely. You know? Now, the next spot we're going to is a little far. It's Gino's. Okay, cool. So I ended up calling an Uber, yep. and he's here. Okay, and cool. he's parked right across the street. Could we get a shot? He's over there. Oh, cool, right. Yep. In front of the sign that says Gino's. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, we're going to go across the street to Gino's, which is a bit of a rival of Pat's. Of course. Uh, they opened, I think, in the 60s, so 30 years after this place. I mean, in 1999, they were both on Dr. Phil, where he described their rivalry as more intense than the war in the Middle East. Okay. And on the show, whether it was just pettiness or acting for the cameras, they both tried each other's sandwich on camera on the Dr. Phil show, and they both instantly spit it out. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little much. A little much. That's the level of pettiness that I aspire to. That's it would perfect. have been so funny. You know, they always do the thing like, and we're revealing the test results. So everyone like flips out. They give the sandwiches, but it's spit it out, and then like, and Dr. Phil's like, actually, those were your own sandwiches. Whoa! Look, <laughs> Phil, Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil, Phil, Phil Dr. Phil, 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 yeah. <laughs> that sandwich is not the father. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. Let's go eat a sandwich. Cool, man. Well, here's Gino's. The front of this place is ridiculous. It looks like the uh, Las Vegas Strip or something. Here we are. Here we are. Gino's. As you can tell by how busy this place is, it's probably the tourist destination for cheesesteaks. It's popping off here. In the city. Now, that might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. We'll find out in a second. But as you can see, there's a ton of people here. Now, this place. They're slinging cheesesteak sandwiches here. The owner said that the best way to have it is with provolone cheese. He refers to that as real cheese. But the numbers don't lie. They go through eight to 10 cases of cheese whiz a day. <laughs> so we got it with the Man, whiz. I love the terminology of a case of whiz, like a case of wine. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like corked is that what you're thinking? Whiz. I was thinking like a case of beer, like just cans of whiz, like crack, crack, crack. Like there's like this cans all oh over the floor. Like, man, I gotta make these in bigger cans. <laughs> I'm killed I'm here. In a bigger container. Either way, I'm assuming yeah. it's a lot of whiz. Yeah, sounds like it. And here it is. Mm -hmm. So, visual impressions taught me through it. <laughs> We'd mentioned earlier my preference of the meat being really chopped up. This is not that. And it's almost like the irony of the universe was like, well, here's the exact opposite thing you just declared you liked. Oh, you like small pieces of yeah, meat, Yeah, well, huh? here's the longest ones. I mean, these are... Try and pull one of these out. Like, yeah, let's see that. They, they just haven't cut this. This is just like a full slice of, of a ribeye, isn't so it? this is up your alley, isn't it? This is kind of more my thing, on paper. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a juicier sandwich once you uh, pull it harder. I'm holding. Ah. Here we go. Also, once again, Maybe as small as the one we just had? Maybe as small as Pat's? Yeah. Whereas uh, Tony one. and Nick's and uh, John's Roast Pork, they had some weight to it. They were yeah. like, like, like the weight of an infant. I would say so. These sandwiches are definitely more manageable. The bun is quickly becoming soaked yes. in the uh, juices. But it's like, it's soaking it up pretty well. It's like yeah, a it's spongy, spongy, spongy bun. It's got a good sponge to Absorbent. It. All right, well, Should you give it a try? We'll continue, let's give it a try. All right, man. All right, but first impressions, this is not what I was expecting. No. I'm just saying. <laughs> Talk me through it. What do you get him? Here's what I like about it. The meat is tender enough to, even though it isn't really chopped up, it's still just, you know, melting in the mouth, easy to bite through it. So that I like. Yep. The whiz to meat ratio, pretty good. The onions. But overall, the flavor's just not jumping out at me. I like it, yeah. but I'm not flipping out about it. I think I'd broadly agree with you. Oh, nice. I like the texture of like bigger pieces of meat, like yeah. I said, at Pat's. Yeah. This is maybe almost too much, because as I say, they basically just haven't chopped this up at all. Like, do you guys have roast beef? And, and we do have roast yeah, beef, like, This yeah. is like a roast beef sandwich. Famously. Um, yeah. Pretty similar. I'd say with a British roast beef sandwich, you tend to get even thicker slices, but like that's kind of ah. what you expect. I think one issue I'm having with this is that the toppings aren't really like mixed in very well if that makes sense. So like, you get the whiz straight on the bun, Yeah. then like quite a lot of beef. You like it all mixed up. And then the onions. It's the definition of just fine. Right? Yeah. I feel like we could get this in New York. Yeah, I feel like you could make this pretty much anywhere. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry, oh, Gino's. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gino's. I mean, Gino. It's just fine. I mean, like, look how- Looks like yeah. you're doing okay, so you don't you need can, our endorsement. You can see in there, like when you bite into it, that is just one big layer of meat. 
And that yeah. to me, like, when the texture is concerned. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. You expect the cheese stick to be like a meaty, cheesy, possibly oniony, bready bite. Yeah. All of it in one. So, I think we got room for one more? I think so, yeah. Somehow, I can squeeze one more in. Let's go. Let's go. Our last stop, it's a little outside of downtown Philly, but I wouldn't let Harry and I leave without going to the spot that is loved by the locals. Road trip. Have a fun joke. It's a little tight. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I took you to this noisy part of town. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is a good observation you made. Like, all these spots are right on busy streets. I feel like this is just a damning indictment of Americans' lack of walkable cities. The fact that everywhere we've eaten today has been right next to a super busy road. All right, get off your, get off your high horse. <laughs> Public That's, transport now. Yeah, You're just jealous because your city can't have these big roads because it's built we still out of horses and buggies. <laughs> right. But the good news is, Philly cheesesteak time. You guys do make a Once good again, steak. I got one for us to split. Oh, I'm loving the color Ooh. of this with. Oh, shit. Oh, uh -oh. okay. We're in trouble. Oh, We're in baby. trouble. I look, I think it says something that we've already eaten a lot of steaks today. Yeah. And I look at this and I actually I'm still quite excited to try it. Yeah, it's look really yeah. good. It looks really good. Yeah. Interesting fact about Delos Anjos is mm -hmm. it actually built atop Ben Franklin's grave. Wow, really? No. Some haunted steaks. No, I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know anything about this place. Other every Philly native said we have to go here. So okay, we're here. Okay, you ready? Philly, fine. I think so. Ready for a bite? Get this, stuck in there. Number five that we've had? Uh, maybe six. No five. Five. Oh, wow. What a day. You going in? Okay. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Made my favorite consistency. Mm hmm. Pillowy bun. The cheese and meat mixture might be perfect. Mm. I'm really getting the cheesy taste in there. I'm really getting the whiz in there, right? Yeah, man. This is really good. Generous with the fillings. Maybe the finest chop on the meat we've had all day. I'm looking at yours specifically right there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm looking for. I want total saturation yeah. of cheese in the meat. You know, I kind of went into this thinking that I enjoyed more steaky, big pieces of meat. Yeah. Yeah. But. But. A this mind has been changed. This sandwich is definitely doing something to change my mind. Oh, that's fantastic. I love to hear it. Yeah, see? When it's more broken up like this, you have more of an opportunity for the cheese to just like congeal with the meats. Mm -hmm. And with the onions and the bread, like the bread's real pillow. I mean, this sandwich mm. was sitting for a minute. It hasn't completely soaked through, not overly juicy. Mm -hmm. Fantastic consistency. Sorry. <laughs> Fantastic consistency. Juicy as hell. I can't, Again. I'm, like, I'm like almost done with this half. It's like dripping off of mine. Yeah, before today, mm -hmm. I had never had a proper Philly cheesesteak. Uh -huh. But I'd seen some like videos on YouTube and stuff and pictures of them online. Yeah. And this is kind of how I imagined it to look and taste. This has given me a decision to make, ma'am. I know. Uh-oh. We almost got away. We almost got away with our picks. Mm -hmm. This one comes in. Man, this is, this is fantastic. All right, buddy. Five Philly cheesesteaks, one day. We are outlaws, baby. Really Philly are. fanatics got nothing on us. I don't know how we're still standing. I don't know either. I'm having to drink a Gatorade like some kind of like athlete who's I'm about to been collapse depleted. like the 95. <laughs> some topical humor there. Thank you. That might be rebuilt fully by the time this video goes live, but so I'm sure people will enjoy it. You had said that you have tried numerous cheesesteaks today. I think the elements of a great cheesesteak are not only the bread, meat, cheese, and potentially onions, but how they work together. So you get the perfect bite in each one. That's what I was looking for in a sandwich today. How about you? Yeah, I agree. I think where some of these might have fallen slightly short is just because they haven't got the ratio quite right. Whether that's not enough cheese, whether that's too much meat. There's kind of like a few different things you have to balance to get a really, really good steak. Great. But I do think all of them have been good. I would happily go back to pretty much any of them. Right, but if you had to pick one? If I had to pick one, it's quite tough. I think my runner-up honorable mention would be John's roast pork. Okay. Because it was really good. It was a bit different. It was like, you know, the seeded bun, the no whiz. I did enjoy it. I do think for me, given my expectations coming into this, having never had a cheesesteak before, but having seen and heard a lot about them, what I was expecting a cheesesteak to look and taste like was this D'Alessandro's steak. Wow. Mm -hmm. This uh, lived up to all my expectations. Mm -hmm. 
Even though we're at the end of a long day of eating cheesesteaks, I've really enjoyed this. I would happily finish this whole thing off. I don't know, I thought it was really good. How about you? I agree with you, except I'm gonna flip the two. This was my second place, but John's roast pork was my favorite. Nice. Yeah, I guess with just the way that they put the extra American cheese on there and their, their specialty bun that I know isn't the classic bun or the standard bun that they have, but that one I was just like, I was completely blown away by how great that sandwich was. Nice. All right, it's starting um, to rain, so let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my Gatorade, yeah. the last bit of this, and uh, we can hit the road. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not taking another bite, but I can't. We got a long car right ahead of us. Everyone in the car to suffer. For everyone's sake. Yes. <laughs>